G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is a nice little walk from the camel farm up to the southern lookout and back. And it's going to be about, let me work it out, uh, it's 6.8 each way, so it's at 13.6 kilometers. Things missing off it to my normal multi day walks is because in five days I'm getting dropped back off at Harvey Crindunning Road and I'm going to finish this section into Collie. I started about two months ago, and the reason I had to stop was the opposite side, the Collie side of Harvey Crindunning Road, my knee gave way. It was rather painful actually. So over the last eight weeks I've seen a doctor, had x-rays, got all the all clear, building back up to it. And now this is one of my training days. Now we're getting closer to the day. This walk does go past the Hewitt shelter, so if you wanted to, you could stop there on your way out or on the way back. They've got water tanks there, which are rain water. They do recommend to treat the water, but I've drank it at times and I've been fine. Uh, I do carry a filter for the ones I'm not too sure about. And there's also a drop toilet there, so if you get caught short, just here, 2.6 kilometers in from the start. So what we'll do is, I'll take a walk up to the shelter when I get by it, and we'll give you a quick look if you haven't already seen it. Right, we're nearly at the shelter. I don't know if you can see it. It's just through the trees there, about it's about 100 meters through. 
and we've got to go down that way first, past the shelter to come back up to the shelter. You are thinking of stopping at the shelter. The shelter is just there, and like I said, you've got to walk past. So don't panic if you start walking past the shelter, and there's no way to get up to it because just around the corner here, or a couple of corners, just through the scrub there, you can see the sign for. Hewitt's shelter. A bit steep to get up this one. A few uneven steps have built in but it's worth it for the sit down. If you're thinking of just doing an overnighter or your first time out, this is a, a good one to come to, this shelter, the Hewitt shelter. You can get dropped off at the camel farm and just walk the 2.6 into here and spend the night at this lovely accommodation. Got room there for three, six, nine, up to 12 people on the bunks and spotted around very close to the shelter there's actual tent pitches. So you can pitch your tents or your bivvy or whatever you want to use. And you can see we've got the fresh water or fresh water tanks, yep, the vein water tanks on either side. Sometimes of the year, in the middle of the summer, they can be very low and some shelters can be empty because of how regular they get used. So always make sure you carry your own water in. And I'm a big believer now that you work out how much you actually need and then I add another litre on top just to be safe. Okay, let's get back down the hill and we'll carry on walking up to the Southern Lookout. If you're following the Bibbulmun track to the south ledge, don't follow them, they'll take you the wrong way. We've got to go up that way. So there's the wargle. There's the sign that you follow. Most of the Bibbulmun track is a hiker's track. 
every now and then you'll share it with a four wheel drive track but in general there's no wheels allowed on the build on the track like motorcycles, your bicycles or any of the little backpacking trailers that people pull behind them they're not allowed on the Bilbo Mill track because there's a dieback. After getting up that hill uh, it was not just what you could see on the camera there was another two peaks to it and that's just here where I'm standing now but look at this view you get it's well worth it it's just beautiful out there I think we're at the top now, it's going up and down, not so serious. And the last time I was up here, it was just mist. I couldn't see any of the hills in the background. All I could see was the silhouette of the trees. And even though it was a bit eerie and spooky, it was just beautiful, it was. Uh, no matter what the time of the year, it's always beautiful on the Big Woman track. anyone doesn't know what the Bibbulmun track is, it's a long distance track in Western Australia and it starts at Kalamunda which is just east of Perth and it goes all the way down to Albany and distance wise I think now it's about 1006 or 1008 kilometers. It's very similar to the Appalachian Trail in America for people who are watching this in America and are subscribers there <coughs> just not as long so the Appalachian Trail is over 3,000 miles long uh, a little bit different but just as beautiful and starting from Kalamunda an easy day's walk will bring you to the Hewitt Shelter which I showed you earlier and then another easy day's walk from Hewitt Shelter will take us down over the Mundarin Weir and down to Port Creek Shelter and then another easy day's walk will be at Helena so it just goes on and on I think there's 49 shelters and we're going to be passing through one, two, six or seven towns so just beautiful scenery beautiful I've got down to the Harvey Quindanning Road as you know when my knee went I had to be picked up so I'll be heading back down there in five days to finish that section of the college excuse me <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me again and then two weeks later I'm hoping to go back down again and do from Collie down to Ballingup so 
put Anna to work two set days a week and the rest of the time is flexible I can only really get five days at the most out if I go in first thing on the Tuesday morning so I said realistically I only get that Thursday till the Monday morning and then in work so that's why I'm doing it exceptional a small amount at a time hey look at that view over there that's just beautiful beautiful view Track and back into the bush now. All the trees giving the shade and the breeze that there is today, or the wind, it's actually feeling quite nice in here. Walking on that four wheel drive track, even with the, uh, the wind blowing, because there was lack of shade, it was a bit warm. So, yeah, it's nice. I think, I'm not certain, I think we're only about two or three hundred meters away now from the south ledge. Somewhere to sit down if you want. And there's the view you look at. How beautiful. We're going to carry on down to the south ledge. Oh, I hate these steps. They're so uneven. <clears throat> steep. Or well, not steep, but deep step down. It's a, it's a bit of strain on the old knees. There you go, just came down them steps. I hate that. They're also uneven, really deep steps down. They put a lot of strain on your knees. And then you should just make it not as deep and just put a few more steps in. Wood carving of the warble on the post. Carvings on here too. It's a, it is a lovely walk. If you wanted to just make it to here, you can, if you want, have somebody drop you off at a camel farm, walk to here, and have them pick you up here at the south edge. There's a car park up here, there's picnic areas, some picnic benches, and drop toilets. Or if there's two of you, you've got two cars, one of you can drop your car here, then you can both drive down to your camel farm, walk up here, drive back to the camel farm, pick your car up and both drive home. So uh, me, I've dropped my car for the camel farm, I've walked all the way up here and now I'm going to be taking a walk all the way back. But I think I'll take five minutes to sit down first but there won't be as much filming on the way back so yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video so far.
If you've enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell and then click all. And click like. And also click on that share button and share with all your mates and family. And if you are already a subscriber and done all that, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.